Hey guys, in this video I will teach you the elite skills you need to be a master ethical hacker. Please remember, that everything in this video is for educational purposes only. Okay. Let's get started. Pay attention. Congratulations! You have taken your first step to ethical hacking. Now let's move on into the first most important step. Many ethical hackers use this exact tool. And now you'll know exactly how to use it also. Pay attention. Did you see that? Pretty crazy right? Now check this out. You're not gonna believe this. This should only take a few seconds. And now you know exactly how to use this tool. Let's move on to the next step. You will need to open another one of those black box thingies that scares normies, and type this in. Now, pay attention. Haters may call you lazy for doing this but they are just jealous of your elite skills. Now that we have done that very complicated process, you will need to type this in exactly, with no mistakes. You are basically neato, now you can take some time to prepare for the next step. Pay attention. This is next level stuff right here. No one knows about this site. Being a master ethical hacker means you are a lifelong learner. That is what you need to be a successful master ethical hacker. Make sure you follow this step, it will help you for later. You are doing great. Pretty soon you will be able to get a high paying six figure job because of this tutorial. Look at this article I found in the clear net. Can you believe this? As you can see ethical hacking is a very exciting field. Lots to see around here, lots of money to be made. Money. 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 Advertisements. Everywhere. Looks like we got a bite. Ha. Ha. Get it? Let's see what we can do. Pay attention. This next part is super important. You can't mess this up. We are about to do the ultimate final command. Pay attention. And just like that guys you are now an ethical hacker. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of that video. As you may have seen on my post, there was a community guidelines that I apparently broke with my more recent upload, the video prior to this one that got taken down. And I do understand it, right? Like this is a, you know, kind of 
edgy channel, right? We talk about things in cybersecurity and we demonstrate things in cybersecurity that can be, um, you know, portrayed in a certain light. So totally understand the decision, right? And I did want to make this just to kind of like, you know, poke, poke the bear a little bit. I thought it was funny. I, I saw all the comments, guys. I really appreciate all the support. You know, um, I do consider everything that was written. I, I did see the frustration from the fans and I felt it too, right? Like last night when I read the whole emails and the, the rejection to the appeal, you know, I felt a certain type of way and I wanted to, you know, just let you guys know that I didn't just delete it out of a whim. But, you know, ultimately YouTube is the most viewed content platform in the world, right? It has more users than Netflix. It brings the most opportunity for me to grow as a content creator, for me to establish myself in the industry as, as uh, well as potentially creating a future business for myself. And that's ultimately, you know, what I'm looking to do, right? I want to give as much value as I can for free for as long as I can. And I, and I am aiming and promising to do so for as long as I can. And, you know, that means I have to play by some rules, right? Like I'm playing the long game in this, right? The information, the demonstrations, the lectures, whatever you want to call them that I give out, they're, they're basically the same things that I have learned from paying thousands of dollars in courses and then cybersecurity certifications. So, you know, there is, there is me doing that charity, but I'm not a saint, right? Ultimately, I am looking to get something out of this, you know, some years to come. But until then, you know, all the content's free. I need to play by some rules until I have my own platform. But while we're on that note, I do want to point out that I realized from this whole incident that, you know, I need to start thinking about establishing myself on other platforms. And YouTube has just been like my main my main target right now. And I always thought that until I had a reason to move to a different platform or to expand my social media presence, until I had a legitimate reason, there was no reason to. And now I, I'm seeing that there is reason to. So part of the YouTube community guidelines is that I cannot link you to any other platforms that advertise or link to that same content that got removed or flagged before. But um, while I am adhering to that, I do wanna let you know that I have started an X account right? You can go follow me there. This is just kind of the start of me, you know, expanding out to different social media platforms. I also have an Instagram, but that's not getting anything there. I mean, my, my X account's not getting anything either, but I wanted to make you all aware. I'll go ahead and link those in the description. You can go check that out. Make sure to follow me and uh, we'll stay in touch. Overall, I appreciate all the massive support. More content soon to come. Much love, guys. Peace.